Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning into this Autism Hangout special report. You know, I can personally testify to the fact that everyday, motivated, innovative people are finding new ways to use existing technologies to reach our special kids. Existing technologies, like in this case, the iPhone and iTouch. Today's guest is one of those exceptional people. Autism Hangout, please meet Bic Pratt. Welcome, Bic. It's nice to have you here. Thanks, Craig. Thank you for being interested. Well, I'm more than a little bit interested. Anything that helps bring our kids to reality and helps them communicate is an exceptional tool that people need to know about. Now, Bic has written an app that turns any iPhone or iTouch into a handheld pocket communicator. Before we get into the specifics of that, I'm sure, Bic, that there's a great story behind this whole concept. How did you get in? How did you get motivated to do this? Well, I am the dad of a 19-year-old who has a diagnosis called Nagr, N-A-G-D-R. It's very obscure, and uh, Michael has some mechanical problems, some surgeries that we've been through. He's trach dependent. He is cognitively impaired, and um, he is described as 95% unintelligible to the unfamiliar listener. So he just he can't communicate. Uh, Mike's mom uses ASL as a communication method, which really works great around the house, and I'm a big supporter of that. But I've always been sort of of the opinion that I want to get Mike to communicate with the outside world. So I've always been the AAC guy in the house, and um, we've had some challenges with AAC and his acceptance of that, and we've built a product that really has gotten past a lot of the problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you first took this product out, when you first put it on an iPhone or an iTouch, uh, what was the first experience that your son had with this that convinced him this is the way he wanted to communicate? Let me give you just a little bit of background on, on um, how we got him using AAC at all. Okay. He never would engage until I began to really put personalized content on there. Nothing really sophisticated wrestlers, Sherry Lewis, The Wiggles, just the things of his life. And um, he now started to touch the buttons, which was, it was a breakthrough. Um, so then we graduated to his Taco Bell order. And so we went to Taco Bell with his big communication device, and it worked really, really well. But it only worked one or two times because he's trait dependent, he's very shy. Whenever we're in a public environment and he sees kids coming the other way, he gets right behind his mom or I because he doesn't want to draw attention to himself. Yeah. And what he noticed after a couple of times of independently ordering at a fast food place, he was also bringing attention to himself. And so um, that killed it. Um, yeah. He just wouldn't do it anymore. And after a lot more things happened, we got him, we developed this application today every Saturday and every Sunday we're at McDonald's or at Taco Bell and the very first time it was sort of nerve-wracking for me because is it going to work there's background music oh shoot what's that going to do and he got through it was a pretty girl about his age and when he was done placing his order she looked right in his eyes and she said I got it that's cool <laughs> <laughs> and he looked, he looked up at me, he didn't smile, but I'll tell you what, that moment was worth every bit of pain that we've been through because he was engaging, and uh, I, I've got other stories like that, but that's, that's the gratifying part. Well, the iTouch and the iPhone are just so cool, and it's, they're especially cool among that age group, but they're so small and they're so portable, and uh, it, yeah, I mean, that's just a great story of acceptance. You figured out what was of most interest to him, and you put it on a device that's cool, and, and it worked. In fact, I'm going to stop at this point, and, and we're going to actually show a demo from your website, your exi your your uh, older website, by the way, and to show how this works. And folks, we're going to be right back. But here's a demo as to how this works. My name is Michael. My dad's name is Vic. Please call my dad at work. Nine 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 two two nine two nine. The website is mytalktools.com. So for you folks out there in the Autism Hangout audience, for the professionals, the speech and language folks, this is a tool that you can start creating your own apps. And for you moms and dads, whether you're technically savvy or not, this is also a place that you can come and create tools to use with your kids. So 
Once again, here's an example of somebody in the autism community that has taken an existing piece of technology and made it adaptable so all of us can help our kids learn how to thrive with autism. One of the points I want to stress is that this is something that folks at home can do. This is easy to use. In fact, if, Bic, I know you created this. Are, do you consider yourself a technical person? Well, I, I'm modestly technical, but um, and that was why I was building the personalized content on the existing um, boxes that he had, mm -hmm. but I found that to be very frustrating. So the whole concept of my talk, whether you're developing the content on the handheld, which you can do, you can be an author on the handheld, or you're developing on our website, where you have full keyboard, full screen, and all that. Everything we did was to try to make this simple so that non-technical people can do it. That's the goal. Okay, so if people come to your website right now, whether they're technically savvy or non-technically savvy, they can build their own apps at your website? There's, there's three components to the website. There's the normal web pages, which I guess you would call marketing pages, where it kind of tells you what it is, gives you some examples of how it would be used and that sort of thing. Then there's the login, where you actually build boards as a, as a member of MyTalk, as a subscription service. Mm -hmm. And then there's the community aspect, too, where, as far as we're concerned, the value of this is that it's a framework for personalized communication. And what we want to do is we want to get the professionals, the speech and language pathologists, OTs, PTs, uh, to engage because... As far as I'm concerned, it's their training and their intuition and their connection with the people that they're working is what we're trying to harness. And we're trying to give them a tool that's so simple that it helps them do it quickly. I realize that you've done this out of the goodness of your heart because you started with the motivation for your own son. But how is there a cost associated with this thing? Uh, how does that break down? There is a cost associated with it. Uh, we break it down two ways. One, for parents and caregivers, um, the cost is about $40 on the App Store for the application itself. And, and that's, if you want to that's have, per year. That's per year, right? Uh, the, the, the $40 is to buy uh, MyTalk, and you then have a fully functioning AAC device that you can use on your handheld as a user, and you can author right there. It's $40. Mm -hmm. If you want to subscribe, then you're able to do your authoring on the web with a full keyboard and with some really fantastic uh, authoring capabilities that you just can't do on a handheld. Mm -hmm. And for parents or caregivers, uh, it's the cost of two Starbucks a month, um, about six or seven dollars a month to have the subscription. And if you want to do it for a year so you don't have the hassle with the monthly, that's okay too. Mm -hmm. on, on the professional side, we want to get to a, a large group of people. We want people to have the same experience my son has at Taco Bell. And so we want to give away the application to the speech and language community, mm -hmm. but we can't give away the application because the App Store won't let us. So, as a commercial product. Yeah. So, it's $40 for the application, and speech and language pathologists are going to get the subscription for free. Okay. Um, don't know how long we can keep that up because there are costs associated with storage of content and that sort of thing, but we're going to start that way. It's free to the speech and language community and uh, probably use ASHA membership as the credentials to get the free subscription. Uh huh. Wouldn't that be a fantastic problem to face, though, if you had like ten or 15,000 customized apps out there from the, the professionals that are making it easier for us to talk to our kids? <laughs> I want to bring expressive communication to the world. That's my goal. And I commend you for doing that, sir. That's wonderful. <laughs> for those people that have an interest in this application, where can they go to find more information? Give us your website again. Well, of course, it's www.mytalktools.com. Vic, I want to thank you for coming on today. This is, this is just fantastic. I'm so excited for you, and I'm so excited for the potential for this product. Well, thank you. Thank you for being interested. I really appreciate it. Well, my pleasure. And Autism Hangout, folks, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again soon with another special report.